Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. This is a medical video lecture, microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is a virus, DNA virus, that is molluscum. Contagiosum. Contagiosum. Okay, so before starting a discussion on this, I request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So here I'm going to talk about the important points for USMLE Step 1 examination. Step 1 examination. So guys, in, in USMLE Step 1 examination, if you want to diagnose with molluscum contagiosum, the most important thing that will be mentioned in the clinical history will be the warts warts with umbilicated with umbilication let me show you how it looks like if this is in a wart then it has a central depression that is known as umbilication okay so if I go with a lateral view this is a skin it has a bulging and it has a depression then it has a bulging okay so this is known as umbilication. Okay, guys. So this point should be there in your clinical history. Then you are almost your diagnosis with the molluscum contagiosum. Okay, guys. So this is the DNA virus we know. And what is the reservoir? Remember, in other history for molluscum contagion, they can give an young adult wrestling or a, what do you call swimmer, right? Very important point. Try to look for those points also. This is common in that person. Okay, guys, what's the reservoir? Who is the reservoir for this? Is a human. Humans. Okay. What's the transmission? Transmission is by direct contact, sexual. That's a sexual direct contact. And for mites. Okay, guys. What's the pathogenesis? They replicate, replicate in dermis replicate in dermis okay guys so they cause a disease known as molluscum contagiosum as we know that um, it has a single or a multiple what you call a benign wart like tumors okay and these molluscum contagiosum or here these molluscum bodies in a central caseation material caseous material that is filled with the eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Very important again. Eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies. Okay, guys. So these are the important points you should look for in USMLE case scenario. So what do you need to look for? Umbilication. Then you look for eosinophilic cytoplasmic inclusion bodies because in the new assembly examination, they will give the history. And okay, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.